Oh, you guys, my grandpa did it again. Every time I come back, he loves to buy keto snacks for himself. Usually nuts and bars and like, you know, things like that. These cool snacks they have at Costco that are labeled keto. Um, usually they're processed snacks, but today we have something that's minimally processed. I've had these before. They're so good. Roasted, salty, pecans, hazelnuts. They have macadamia nuts and Brazil nuts in here. And the cheddar balls are made of almond flour. And he had those protein bars. Not sure what's up with those, but I won't be having them because they have sunflower oil. And I'm obsessed with that cinnamon gum. But here's these snacks on the airplane that I showed. Um, and we're going to review them, the macros and ingredients. Yes. So you got this. No seed oils in this one. So I know everybody should be seed oil, seed oil free. Gluten-free oats, not ideal. I don't really like the greens. Um, almond butter. Almonds, okay, brown rice crisps. Honey. Macadamia nuts, those are good. White chocolate. Um, it has vanilla extract, sea salt. So it looks pretty good, but the macros are awful. Like 140 calories, I think. Yeah. We slipped it over four grams of protein, only four grams, 17 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. Um, how much fat? I bet it's high fat. They have one gram of saturated fat. Um, seven grams of total fat and 140 calories. The good ingredients, Kate's Real Food, White Chocolate, Macadamia. Um, these are just the oils they're using are atrocious. Um, they taste good. I tried like two. Oh yeah, and this is my mom's grilled breakfast sandwich. It's aesthetically pleasing and looks kind of tasty, but I'm not eating it, obviously. 